Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio and in this video we are going to talk about camera and everything you need to know about cameras on Spotlight. To direct a camera, make sure to write it on the line you are directing. This applies to everything on Spotlight. You can write a full world camera or just a shortened cam, that would be enough. This orange cross is the anchor point. Click on the anchor point, hold it and move around. Scroll your mouse or touchpad to zoom in and zoom out. You can copy the camera parameters here in the upper left corner or if you watched our previous video you already know that Spotlight automatically copies all the parameters, all the coordinates to the clipboard, so you just have to paste it. Use Ctrl V for Windows and Command V for Mac. The studio will paste only the parameters that were changed. For example, if you simply moved the camera and didn't change the scale, it will not paste the scale to the script. There are two ways of doing close-up on a character. The first is the classic one, you manually direct the camera on a character. And the second method would be using the camera target command. The camera can be targeted only to a character. You can choose one of the listed focuses. And the best part is that you can blur the background and all the objects and characters that are spotting behind the character. So only the character you chose will stay in focus. If you have other characters in front of your character and you don't want them to be in focus, you can write the hide other command to hide them. The hide other command should be written after the camera focus and before the blue, otherwise it won't work. The characters will not be removed, they will still be there, we just won't see them. If you click static preview, you will see them again. Or if you change the camera, they will appear again. At this point you might have a question. What if I want two characters to be in focus and to have a nice blurry background? First, remember that the camera can be targeted only to one character at a time. So first you need to define which character would stand in front and which one would be behind. In our case, MC would stand in front of Eli. So since the Eli is the one behind, we should target the camera to him. That's how MC would stay in focus as well. You can experiment with camera focus and character size in order to make your composition look harmonic. The other nice camera feature is scan. You can scan a character from feet to head and from head to feet. You can set the time of the scan. Write at camera target character scan up down or down up in and then you put the time. In official story spotlight creators mostly use it to demonstrate an outfit. On Spotlight you can make camera follow your character. For example here I have my MC standing in this part of the screen and I want her to walk there. I just need to write her movie command and target camera to MC, choose the same focus as I used before and write follow. It's important to choose the same focus or scale so everything would look smooth. At this moment it's not possible to blur the background while using camera follow command. You can blur the objects only while using camera target command. Now let's talk about camera animation movements. Currently there are four types of movements, normal, loop, repeat and perpetual. The normal movement takes the camera from point A directly to point B. This action is unskippable. It means that it must be completed first in order to script to move forward. The next one is loop. Loop is a repeating movement from point A to point B. And once the camera reaches point B, it jumps back to point A and goes to point B again. By default the loop is infinite but you can set the number of times it runs. For example, loop 5 would only loop it 5 times. The next one is repeat. The main difference between repeat and loop is that during the repeat command, the camera doesn't jump back to point A. Instead, it goes back in the same place. So in repeat, the camera moves repeatedly between two points. Same as with loop, you can set the number of times you want the repeat to be performed. Or it can be repeated infinitely. And last but not least, perpetual. As the name suggests, it represents the continuous movement. For example, if you want the camera move to this position and then we add perpetual to the code, then the camera will never stop. Even after reaching those coordinates, it will keep moving. Unless we write the minimum and maximum coordinates. To make perpetual work smoothly, you need to write minimum and maximum x, y and scale parameters. If you don't set them, the camera may go outside of the screen area. So if you remember, before I said that the normal movement is unskippable. That means that the reader should wait for it to be finished and then they can continue reading. But those three animation types can be skipped as you saw it an example on the screen. You can add transitions to camera. 
The camera transitions work especially well when they're within one background. If you want to start a new scene with a transition, then it would be better to attach the transition to the background. At this moment, there are a few types of filters available on Spotlight. You can attach a filter to a camera or a background. Once you apply the filter, it will last until you turn it off. For that, write Camera Filter None. Now you know how to direct an animate camera, how to target it at characters, and how to blur backgrounds. Thanks for watching this tutorial, follow Spotlight on social media, and happy writing!